Hey everyone and welcome to this video. I'm Inkslaura123. So first of all, I want to say Happy New Year to all of my viewers. Hope you have a very happy and healthy new year. I can't believe it's now like 2024, like seriously. Um, but yeah, so if you're watching this video and you've seen the title of it, you'll know that this is the very first in a series of videos that I want to do on my channel and it's all going to be about weight loss you know getting healthy being happier healthier and eating better and being more active and just like yeah you know improving your body making your body uh, just healthier um, I want to lose weight so bad like seriously I did a whole video the other day which I'll link down below so go and check that out for kind of more information on why I'm doing this and just talking about my kind of you know weight loss journey and the past and things like that and you know how like I just I really need to I really want to lose weight and just get healthier and you know it's such a big thing and I just want to you know do it I need to do it and I know a lot of people watching this will be in the same boat as me so I thought we could do it together I'm going to be kind of documenting my weight loss journey and my kind of you know getting fit and healthy doing more exercise and stuff journey um and yes, yeah, so I'm planning on doing like one video a week where I'll literally just focus on all things to do with this subject, okay? So, you know, I don't know, you know, you might see me on my exercise bike for a bit, you might be doing some other exercises or shopping for food and drink, which, you know, could help me in my weight loss journey. You'll also see me just in rambles and talking about how I'm feeling that week, if I've been good if I've been bad, what are my struggles, what are my positives, um, it is literally going to be documenting my journey of losing weight. So I want to lose about five stone, which to be fair, I <laughs> I didn't think it'd have to be that much, right? I just thought, I knew I was a bit overweight, like clearly, I'm not stupid, I know I'm a chubby chubster, but, <laughs> but I didn't think I needed to lose that much weight until I put into Google my height and then it kind of worked out how, you know, what weight I should be. And basically, I need to lose about five stone to be this perfect weight. So at the moment, I am 13.9, I think it was 13.9, which, you know, at four foot 11, I'm very short, isn't great. Okay, it's not a healthy weight. It's not good. And, you know, I just, I need to lose that five stone. Will I manage it all in one year? I don't know. I'd love to, but it might not be that quick. But at least I'm on that journey. At least I'm trying you know, get first step on the path of, of being the healthier and happier me, right? So that's what I'm doing. Now, I will be filming in these vlogs, these weekly vlogs you'll see, focusing on my weight loss journey. Um, you will see the scales. The weigh-in scales will be featured in the video, so there'll be a weekly check. Um, I don't want to be one of these people who, like, weighs themselves every day. Like, I do know some people who do that, and, you know, each to their own. But for me, it's not healthy, um, you know, especially for my mental health, actually, like to see weighing scales every day and just constantly looking at the number. It's not good. So I'm thinking um, once a week weighing and I'll film that, obviously, so you'll get to see the scales, whether I've been good, whether I've stayed the same whether I've been a bit naughty, like you will see the truth. It's not going to be any sugar coating. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to make out, oh, I lost loads this week when I didn't. I'm just going to keep it real and be honest with you throughout the whole journey. Um, I've tried this before, you know, with my weight, I've lost weight, I've put it on, lost weight, put it on. Very yo-yo kind of dieting for me in my life. Um, you know, I've been really slim um, and I've been bigger than I am now. So it, it's just, yeah, I suppose for the last few years, I've kind of stayed that same kind of weight. Uh, when it comes to dress size, I kind of go... Like, it depends on the shop as well. It's like a size 18, 20. I mean, sometimes even like a 22 just to make the tops a bit baggier and stuff. Um, but yeah, there's certain parts of my body that I just really want to change. Like, I really want to slim down. But there's other parts of my body that, you know, I can look at and think, yeah, it's all right. <laughs> so, you know, but I just want to make this whole body, the whole of me, healthier, happier and slimmer. Okay, so if you want to be a part of this journey with me, if you're on the same path that I am, Please, you know, get involved, interact. We can talk about stuff. As I say, there'll be a vlog every week, just one vlog a week where I'll literally focus on all this kind of stuff. Um, I'll still be doing my normal videos, like come spend a day with me and, and book hauls and they'll still be there. But this is just a once a week thing. And the only other thing that I wanted to incorporate as well is like a once a month live stream where we can just have a little catch up, talk about, you know, our goals and how much we've lost or put on or what we're doing and, you know, just 
chit chat about weight stuff, right? So yeah, I hope you get involved and interact. And you know, I honestly think if you do it as a group, you know, and you kind of share your stories and advice and tips and just that general support, that friendly vibe, that that kind of knowing that someone understands you and they're to help you and you're there to help them. And just sometimes you just need a bit of motivating, a bit of pushing and, you know, it just makes you feel better. I always find that. Um, so I've actually set up a Facebook group. I'll put the link down below to that. It's called, was it um, Motivated with Minx or Motivate Minx? I can't even remember now. <laughs> I mean, literally, I created it today and I can't remember the name of it, but the link's down below. It's something like Motivated with Minx, I'm sure of it. But it's basically because I put um, a post on Facebook saying that I wanted to lose weight, get healthy, all the stuff, you know. And I just asked if anyone else was doing the same. And I had such a good response. Like, there were so many people that was like, me too, me too. And people were like, well, why don't you just create a group? And I was like, okay. So I've created this Facebook group. I've set it all up. Um, it is a private group. So you can come in, you know, you can say how you feel or talk about anything to do with weight. And it is going to be a private group. So, yeah, I've already got some people involved already on the group, which is great. And, you know, obviously in these vlogs, I'll be featuring bits and pieces. I'll be showing the group and stuff like that. Um, not I won't be showing the posts, obviously, because it's a private group, but I'll be showing things, for example, if, if you know, people put like positive affirmations, um, you know, things like that, or if I post pictures of things like, so you'll see little bits and pieces, but everything is all private, so don't be worrying about that. And I do understand that because, yeah, I'm open about it and I don't care who knows, you know, what weight I am or how much I want to lose or whatever, but, you know, not everyone's like that and people are more private and, and that's completely fine, okay? So... Yeah, I'm really excited about the group and just kind of interacting and, and showing support for one another. Um, but yeah, so these vlogs, as I say, it's going to be once a week. And um, I'm basically going to try and film a bit each day or every other day and then just kind of edit everything together and you'll get just one video, right? So that is the plan. And I really hope this is going to work for me and I hope this is going to work for you, you know, because um, I've got to do it. i got I got to lose that weight. And... You know, I look in the mirror now and I don't hate myself or anything. Like back in the day, as I said in this previous video, like I, I couldn't even look at myself in the mirror. I couldn't look at photos of me. I was like, mm. I'm not like that now. I'm, you know, I'm reasonably body positive, body confidence and all that. I am. But I know for my health mainly, I, I it's not good. All right. It's not good. Um, and, and I do think it'd be nice to go into a shop and look for smaller size clothes and, you know, not be as tired when I've walked for a, a while, you know, things like that. Um, we've ordered an exercise bike, which you'll see in this vlog, obviously, once it's all been edited. Really excited for that. Um, <laughs> I, I'm a bit scared, but I'm excited. So, yeah, we've got it um, coming this week. It's been delivered. So I don't know what day yet, but as soon as it gets here, um, I'll do a little bit of filming of it kind of being made and, you know, uh, me using it and stuff. I might even do like a live stream one day while sitting on the bike or something. Um, let me know in the comments section down below if you ever use like any home sort of gym equipment as such. Like if you've got a cross trainer or a, um, you know, a bike or whatever, let me know. Um, do you like just sit and watch, te like if you've got a bike, I'm thinking, right, of just sitting there on this exercise bike, doing my thing, but like watching TV or like having some music on my earphones. I was even thinking, because I'm a bookworm, I could just sit on the bike and read like while I'm doing stuff. Um, but yeah, this bike is going to be really cool. So I'm really hoping that it's going to be easy to put together and easy to use and just, yeah. So that's good. Also, where is it? Oh, it's here. Right in front of me. I've got one of these bottles. So I've seen these, a few people um, that I watch, like YouTubers have got these kind of bottles and I think they're really cool. Now I already drink a lot of water, so I think, but this actually gives you a guide on how much you need to drink a day. I assume you can drink more than this anyway, but this is like the minimum I think that you can have. And it's really cool. So you can see the little lines on it. It tells you what time you should be drinking your water and how much. And it just keeps, I like their like positive affirmation. It keeps reminding you to drink your water. So eight till two, get started. Then remember your goal, keep chugging. Don't give up. Almost there. You did it. And then refill now. So you have to do it all over again on the other side. So uh, yeah, I'm really excited to use this, which is really sad because I'm excited about water and drinking it. But there we go. But um. Yeah, I've just never used one of these. So as I said, I do drink a lot of water, but sometimes I think I've drunk a lot of water and then I get to the end of the day and think, actually, I probably haven't really. 
So yeah, this will actually keep track on my water. Obviously, when you're trying to lose weight and just to be healthy anyway, is good, obviously. They always tell you this. They drum it into you to drink lots of water. So that is that. But yeah, this is so cool. And I love the little pink flamingo on the front. Stand tall and stand out. Well, I don't think I'm going to stand tall because I'm only four foot eleven. But uh, yeah, it's really cool. Anyway, so that's that. As I say, we've got the exercise bike coming. Um, I haven't gone out today because I've had a horrible migraine. Um, oh, it was awful. Literally, this morning, I could not get out of bed. I stayed in bed till like 2 o'clock in a dark room, just being like, <laughs> an ice pack on my head, painkillers. Um, so, yeah, it's not been a great day. I haven't really done anything, to be fair, apart from be in bed, come downstairs, you know, lay on the sofa so I feel bad that the first day of the year I've done no exercise <laughs> at all apart from getting up to go to the kitchen ironically um but like look at the end of the day like if I've got a migraine if you suffer from migraines you know like you just you, you can't do anything right so I'm not gonna beat myself up too much but um I'm also keeping where is it oh hold on it's here <clears throat> hold on I'm also keeping a journal uh this is gonna be my little food journal it's quite smart I think. Um, I just found it in the drawer. It's an old notebook. But yeah, I'm basically keeping like a diary. It's kind of like just for myself, really, like a little food diary. And um, I put my start in weight and stuff. And then obviously my target weight. So I mean, my target weight is to be like eight stone, eight and a half stone. Uh, I mean, look, I'd be happy if I got to nine stone, to be fair. But at the moment, <laughs> you know, that, you know, yeah. but um, that is my main goal. And I'm also writing down like what I eat in the day, like a food diary. Now, some people do it. Some people don't. Um, I, I find journaling, like keeping a note of what I've I've ate really good, like in the past when I've done diets and I've been good at them um, and I have lost weight. I think it just keeps a track. And also for yourself, you you like you look back and you're like, oh my God, I had all that today or oh, I ate quite well today. Um, and also I'm kind of counting calories, but I'm not like, I'm not counting every tiny little thing I have. Like if I have, you know, I don't know, some clover light butter or whatever, you know, I'm not going to put every little thing. But in general, like today, I've just put what I've had for breakfast and, and lunch and dinner. And that's what I'm kind of doing. Any snacks will go in here. I will be honest with myself. There's no point in lying in this book because it is for me and my benefit and my, you know, to help me. So that's what I'm doing. And like I've, I've put like as I go along how many kind of calories I'm left for for the day. Um, and also I'm going to use this if I want to put some little notes in about how I'm feeling. Like today I've put, you know, had really bad migraine with a little sad face. So it's going to be a kind of diary mixed with a food diary and a little, yeah, keeping, you know, note of, of the calories that I intake every day. <sighs> but yeah, it's going to be like eating better, um, drinking more water, doing more exercise. And, you know, I think, as I say, it's really good for your mental health as well. I do suffer from terrible anxiety and I've been very open about my anxiety for years and years. So, it, you know, hopefully when you do more exercise, it lifts your mood. It's a mood lifter. So everything, it, it's a good thing that I'm doing all this, right? Also, you know, a couple of months ago, my beautiful mum died. If you're a regular viewer, you'll know. But, I, you know, I love my mum so much. I'm a proper mummy's girl. And I always will be. And, you know, sadly, my mum... Uh, I did talk about this more in my other video. But, you know, she, she was overweight. And she hated exercise. She was honest. She always said, don't like walking, don't like exercise. And she did like eating naughty things. Um, as we all do, you know, to a degree. But I suppose seeing her and what happened with her has really scared me. And it's like... I've got to stop this now. Like, you know, I've got to sort it out. So I'm doing it for her. Um, I'm doing it for myself. And also, like, you know, my partner as well, my fiance, you know, we want to get healthy together. So he's also kind of losing weight, going on the diet thing, and we're both going to use the bike. But I'm not going to be documenting anything to do with him at all. Um, it's going to be a kind of private thing. Um, you know, if ever he's on a, a vlog and he wants to you know, say anything that's cool, but like, I'm never gonna, you know, this is literally going to be about me. Okay. Um, but the fact that we are both doing it together, like this, you know, health kick and like the exercise and stuff is really for me selfishly, you know, and I hope for him as well. It's really good as a couple to have that support and a hobby together, like going on the bike together. We're going to go for more walks and stuff together. So it'd be, it'd be nice actually to sort of bond over trying to get fitter and healthier, you know? Um, so yeah, that's the plan. Okay, so I really hope that you'll enjoy watching these, you know, vlogs and I say the once a month live stream. Please get involved if you want to in the Facebook group. Um, so what I'm going to do now is shut up <laughs> for a change. And literally, I'll, as I say, it's only Monday. No, is it Monday? 
Yeah, Monday. I don't know. Honestly, it's such a weird time of Christmas New Year. It's Monday, so. Um, so, yeah, I'm literally going to try and just put little snippets in throughout the week and then edit everything together for one video, okay? So you'll get that all together. But, yeah, as soon as that bike arrives, we're going to, you know, put it together, get on it. I might film myself in the week, like, going into some, like, food shops and just trying to look to see if I can find any, like... I don't know, drinks and, and food that could be good and helpful. Also, really quickly, I was thinking of getting some Slim Fasts, um, you know, the shakes, milkshakes, because I had done that years ago a few times and I lost a lot of weight with Slim Fast. I'm not going to do it as a full-on have two of them and a meal. I'm not going to do it like that. But as the odd replacement meal, I do think it's good for me personally. It's always worked. And it's got ton loads of vitamins in which and minerals and that, which I, I, I probably need because I'm a vegetarian, obviously. So... It's just nice, and I'd, I'd have them probably in the evening. Um, I like to eat more in the daytime, especially because I'm so busy. I've got work, and I'm always rushing around, and I'm out and about. So if I just had a milkshake, that would just not sustain me in my mind. I mean, it might physically, but it, it doesn't. So I'd rather have that in an evening when I'm just sitting here, just drink me Slim Fast, and that's the kind of dinner. But I don't know. Let me know what you think about the whole Slim Fast thing. But yeah, so hopefully you'll enjoy these vlogs and hopefully it'll help you as well. So I'll hand over to Laura in the future because, yeah, I'm going to be editing this all together. But for now, on January the 1st, over and out. <laughs> okay, everyone, so a little update for you. I've managed to get the Brita filtered jug that I was after, so I'm really happy with that. It's quite big, actually. It's the XL one. Um, hold on, I've got the box somewhere. There you go. That is it. It's the Morella XL. It's been really good for me and of course it will save me money as well and I also bought a box of the filters you get six in this box so yeah I think you have to change them once a month or something like that so yeah it's good and on here it will show you when you do need to change your filter so that's cool I can't remember if I've shown you this or not but if I have I'm showing it to you again but look I have done well nearly done with the first bottle and then I'll obviously have to fill it up and uh, drink it all over again but yeah it's been all right. I mean I drink a lot of water anyway but it's been nice to know that so much I've drunk kind of thing and then oh I need to have more only negative I will be honest about is that I've been out shopping and stuff after work and I literally kept needing the toilet I was like I need a wee I need a wee um, so maybe next time I'll drink the bulk of it once I get home um, and not like in the morning and you know need a wee but yeah no really really good and I just I love it it sounds like really sad but I just I love holding it by the little handle and stuff it's super cute so um yeah also, I have now got a, a pedometer that I've um, got on my phone, so I'm using it on there, and I've reached my target goal already, and it's only the afternoon, so I'm really happy about that. It come up with a little, like, ding, I was like, what's that? Because I've not used it before. I was like, what is that on my phone? But it was basically an alert to say, like, notification that I've reached, what is it, over 6,000 steps? So I'm really happy about that. I don't know how many steps you have to do to be, like you know, oh, you've done loads of steps to lose weight. So I'll have to look into that. But, you know, I've reached a goal of 6,000. I was like, yeah, that'll do. You know, starting it off, I'm happy with that. Um, but yeah, the group is going really well. A little update from that. I only started it yesterday. And already I think we've got like 35, 40 people in the group. So that is amazing. Loving uh, people's comments and stuff. They're sharing photos. They're sharing positive, aff positive affirmations. They're talking about their goals. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy that people are getting involved. Um, so yeah, if you want to join, the link will be down below to that. It's a Facebook group. It is going to be private. Um, to be fair, I did set it up as a normal group. Didn't think of anything, you know, of putting private or anything until someone sort of said that they, they would want to write in the group, but they don't want all their sort of Facebook friends and family seeing everything. Would I make it private? And I was like, actually, that's quite, you know, it's quite a good idea because not everyone does want to see everything, you know, about your weight loss and that. So, um, that is the plan, basically. I'm going to, well, I've made it private, but it come up on Facebook that you have to wait, like, I think it was four days and then Facebook changed it to a private group. So it's kind of in the process, but it will be a private group. Uh, by the time you're watching this video so feel free come and join it's so nice people are introducing themselves saying about who they are where they're from and their families and then how much they want to lose why they want to lose it like it's so good like it really does give me support and you know i hope everyone else gets that so <laughs> support that they need as well from each other and of course make new friends which is you know fantastic so yeah i'm feeling quite positive today i've still got a blooming headache it got a bit easier this morning now it's coming back so i'm gonna have some paracetamol and mm, more water Ooh. um but yeah so i'm just gonna take it easy for the rest of the day i might do a little walk. i was tempted to do another walk around the block in a bit but it's quite windy 
and there's supposed to be another storm coming, so I'm like, mm, I don't know about that yet. We'll see. If I do, I do. If I don't, I don't. But at least I've had a good walk as such so far today. But yeah, I'm just going to go and have something to eat. All I've eaten today is egg on toast. Um, and I think, what did I have today? Oh, I had a little bit of toast and jam as well. With the tiniest amount of jam, normally I slather it on, but this time I'm like, no, it's a little bit. So I've only had a little bit of jam, um, and that's pretty much all I've eaten. So I'm going to just have something to eat soon, like a jacket potato and some salad. And um, I've got these little baby bells. Let me show you. Hold on. Yeah, so this is what I've got. These are baby bell light, 100% um, real cheese. Uh, and they're really good. Well, they're not really good, <laughs> but if you like cheese like me, they're better than like a big block of cheese that, you know, I would grate and not know how much I'm having. These are, I think, about 42 uh, calories each, if I remember rightly, something like that. So it's not too bad. And what I do, I grate them. So it looks quite small, but when you grate a baby bell, it actually looks like the amount looks bigger. So that's what I do. So I'm going to have that jagged potato with as a bit of salad which is fine and I'm going to use some of these slices of the vegan smoky ham um, which are obviously not real because I'm vegetarian so that is going to be my kind of lunch and uh, yeah that is I think the update for today stay tuned and watch tomorrow well it'll be tomorrow in this video you know what I mean okay everyone it's Wednesday I'm out and about don't laugh at my fluffy earmuffs my very bright red <laughs> they are really bright actually anyway um but yeah i'm out and about having a little walk i've got my pedometer on so far i've done like over 2,000 steps which is good and i haven't really been that far yet so as the day goes on and i walk more those uh, steps will go up which is good um but yeah i've just been in sainsbury's got some healthy bits and pieces including a very big cucumber uh, <laughs> Just thought I'd randomly share that with you. So food wise, I've been quite good today. Um, for breakfast, I had beans on toast, because beans are supposed to be very good for you. And we've got the low sugar, is it? Or low salt, something like that, beans, so they're better. Um, I had it on brown bread. I don't eat white bread at all. Um, I just don't like the taste of it anymore. When I was younger, I always used to have white bread, but as I got older, I'm like, no, just brown bread. So I had that, um, and when I get back, at some point this afternoon, I'm going to make myself a nice like salad bowl. So yeah, I've got um, corn ham, like fake ham to put in it, so I'll cut that up, and I've got the baby bell lights that I can like grate and put them in. I always find for cheese, right, when you grate it, it just makes it look like you've got more. Like, <laughs> maybe that's just me, I don't know. But yeah, I'm going to have a nice salad bowl, um, sort of like a late lunch. And then for dinner, me and Nathan are both having uh, dinner together tonight of a roast. A roast, healthy roast dinner. Uh, a couple of stuffing balls, sage and onion, and cauliflower, broccoli, um, cabbage, and a little jacket potato as well with that. And with my gravy, I am really naughty when it comes to gravy. And I will slaver it on, but no, no more, no more. I'm just going to put, I, I need a bit of gravy, it's going to have a bit of flavour, um, so I'll just put less, I'm not going to have none, I'm just going to have less gravy than I normally would, I might soak it in it, uh, also I'll have that with a bit of fake chicken, like a slice of uh, fake chicken, which is the Richmond like fake chicken, uh, meat free chicken, I think it's vegan, it's either vegetarian or vegan, but it's one of them so I can have them, um, so yeah, you know, it's kind of good planning like what I'm going to eat sometimes, I think you kind of, I don't know, it's more a structured plan, I don't know. I mean, I'm not always going to plan what I'm going to have every day, but sometimes I think, oh, you know, I'll do that. Other days I just kind of go with a flow of what I fancy. But also today, exciting news, the exercise bike is being delivered. So Nathan, he's going to possibly put it together. Sorry, I'll get out of the way. Um, he's possibly putting it together today. Um, he's a bit tired today, so... Um, he didn't have a great sleep, either did I, so we're both a bit tired, but I said to him, don't do it when you're, like, tired, because, you know, we've got to sit on this thing, but no, he, he said he wouldn't do it unless he felt like he could do it kind of thing, so we might make it today, we might not, we don't know. If we do make the exercise bike, I'll show you it all done, obviously. I'm not going to film Nathan making it, because that would be really off-putting and awful, so I won't do that, but um, also the weights turned up, the little weights I ordered, so I can show you them when I get home. 
Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to kind of do a bit of shopping. And I always think it's still exercise when you're shopping because you're walking about and, you know, trying to make myself feel better for being a shopaholic. But no, seriously, I think, you know, whatever you're doing, as long as you're moving, as long as you're active, even if it is shopping, it's all good. So I'll see you when I get home. Okay, I thought I'd show you quickly what I got from Lidl. So I got these yogurts. They are low fat yogurts, mixed berries. So strawberry, cherry and raspberry. Um, I also found these split pot fruit yogurts and, uh, with those you get strawberry peach and apricot and i love these um you know, like you put the bits of fruit into the yogurt and kind of mix it around so hmm, i thought though you know i'll give those a go and i thought i would get a bag of carrots so i can um grate them and put them into my salad talking about a salad i bought myself this little plastic container here how cute is this from uh, poundland i think this was like two pound or three pounds, something like that. Now it's a nice size. It's got little buttons on the top, open and close. And um, I'll take the lid off there. So you've got a little pot for your salad cream. I mean, for me, I like to kind of drizzle it all over the salad. But if you do want to put it in a pot, you've got a little pot there with a lid on it. It comes with a little plastic pink fork. And you can just lift that up. I'm going to put my salad in there. So I know I can just put my salad on a plate or in a bowl. But I thought I'd make it extra kitsch, extra cute. So, I don't know how this fork comes off. <laughs> it's like stuck. It's stuck in there. Anyway, I'll get it off. But, um, yeah, I thought it was pretty cool. And it's great if you're on the go. And you just want to, you know, say if I want to go out for the day or something. I need a little food with me. I could just take a little salad pot with me. So, yeah, I thought it was pretty cool. Um, but, yeah, step-wise on my pedometer, I've smashed it today. I'm well over 6,000. I'm on like 7,000 steps. So, I'm really happy with myself. I've already beaten my record from yesterday. That's good. Um, I'm going to go for another little walk now, just around the block, and um, just get them steps up. And then I'm going to come back and have my little salad. Actually, I might put this in the dishwasher, give it a good clean first, and then I'll use it. So I think I'll probably just have it in a bowl like I normally do. Um, and then, yeah, I'm going to have my salad. And then, obviously, we are waiting for the delivery of our exercise bike. So, yeah, see you in a bit. It has been made. Nathan has done an amazing job. Like, seriously. It took him about, I don't know, about an hour? Yeah. About an hour to make, um, which I was worried it was going to take ages and ages and ages because some of the reviews were saying that it took him like three hours or more to make. I was like, oh, no. But no, he done it pretty, pretty quick, actually. I mean, yeah, it's honestly, I am so, well, we are so happy with it. It looks good. It works good. It feels comfortable. Um, obviously, during the vlog, I will get a bit of footage of me on the bike. Maybe later. Would you mind yeah. filming me having a pedal? I will do that for you. Because at the moment, I'm in my pyjamas, and that ain't been on camera. <laughs> me on the bike in my pyjamas. And to be fair, I'm still in my Christmas pyjamas, which looks even weirder uh, in January. But yeah, no, it's absolutely amazing. I'll show you here. You can see this is the... Obviously, it's off at the moment, but you see the screen. You can do your... Heart monitor, calories, speed, how far you've gone, etc. Got really comfortable handlebars. Um, obviously, everything can be adjusted for like, you know, because me and Nathan are different heights. I'm only like 4'11", so I'm really short. Um, the seat is so comfortable. And you've got this beautiful backrest as well, which I'm not just saying, it feels so much better than any bike I've used. I've never had, well, I don't think so, no. I've never had a... Um, like a, a back thing like a to rest on so that makes it even more comfortable you can just kind of sit back a bit and do that it gives you support the seat is a lot wider than a normal bike seat so it doesn't hurt me lady bits or my bum which is great um so yeah it's just, honestly oh and these are the what are they called again the res resistant, resistant band. band thing so you don't have to use them you can just hold on to the handlebars or just sit back um or you could use the resistant things to obviously do your arms at the same time which is great when we do the little video bit i'll show you both ways me just holding on and me doing that i mean this is perfect i can just sit on here have a little read or do a live stream or watch tv and just pedal pedal i mean i lost about how many calories did i burn in like five minutes it's like 30 yeah so this is absolutely amazing i'm really loving it really happy price wise this was i think 160 something quid um it yeah it got reduced so it was on offer obviously new year everyone's doing all their offers and that so great time to get some exercise equipment and stuff so if you're into it if you're watching this vlog and you're like oh i just want to do something like this 
I honestly recommend this bike. I'm not sponsored or anything, sadly. I had to pay for it, but, well, we paid for it together. Um, but, yeah, and if you're looking for a bike, honestly, it's really good. It's really good. Also, here, there's a little twister thing, so you can adjust, like, the, the tension control to so make it, you know, harder to pedal or, you know, a bit looser. I'm going to start off on, like, number two, I think, and then slowly build up. I don't want to start off, like, high and then end up hurting myself because I know what I'm like with exercise go full in and then oh I'm like so <laughs> I've got to start off and build up but um honestly yeah I really recommend it and all exercise I mean Argos, Curry's, Amazon you can find so many keep fit bargains at the moment because all these companies are kind of like you know realizing that in January everyone wants to get on it and so they they do a nice nice little sale so yeah we saved quite a bit of money on this one but yeah I'll get a bit of footage later on of me on the bike uh last night me and Nathan both did our little weight session together it was really fun actually well I enjoyed it did you enjoy it, was it? Good. just done our little weights he obviously had the like stronger weights so I had the weak wink wink <laughs> weak and wimpy Wim, we, I can't even talk weak and wimpy there we go weights but it's, it's better than nothing. So we've done a bit of that. I've done the bike this morning. Um, and also, um, for breakfast, I've just had this Slim Fast. Well, I've still got half of it left. Um, so there's 204 calories in this, and it's the chocolate-flavoured Slim Fast. Uh, so sorry, I cannot talk today. At Slim Fast. So it's high protein, which is good. It's got 23 uh, vitamins and minerals, and there's no added sugar. Tastes blooming amazing. It's so nice. So I'm not going to be doing this like every day or anything. I'm just going to have it as the odd day, like replacement, as a breakfast or a lunch or whatever. Um, but yeah, it's really nice, like proper nice. Anyway, that's that. So I'll see you in a bit and you can see me pedaling on the bike. <laughs> Never laugh at me. I'm on the bike. Where are you going? <laughs> I am going to cycle for London. And I'm also going to do that but it's good isn't it you're, you're doing good i've burnt a million calories how many calories have you burnt no. so far well i've only just started so three yeah but that's not bad three calories in like a minute in 20 no 26 seconds it yeah. was so yeah you can either lean forward like this like an actual bike yeah or just lean back just relax and what i'm going to do is well not this one because that's yours but just have a little, I'm going to put my glasses on in a minute. Read a book. I'm going to sit and read a book and my legs going around. Yep. Com it's a very comfortable seat. It is a comfortable seat. The seat feels, obviously it's extra wide. And I've got a big ass, <laughs> so it fits nice. It's nice. So how many, it's been a minute now, how many calories have you done? Uh, seven. Seven a minute. Yeah, and I'm only on the... Setting number two, I think. Yeah, so my legs are going cool. Yeah. If I was to put it up... Higher, it yeah. Hurt, so I'm getting used to it slowly but surely. I don't want to rush into it. No. Because it would just hurt my legs. So, like, maybe next week I'll go up to number three or, you know. Yeah. And you've been using it as well. Do you like yeah. it? Yeah, I like it. I'm going to go on it again later. And I've got a new sports bra to wear. Yes. Because it's cold, I'm wearing this baggy sort of sweatshirt. Yeah. And my jogger bottoms, but... I'm going to do it in I've sports, got like bra. sports leggings and a sports yeah. bra. Yeah. So, but it's too cold for just sitting in a yeah. bra. So there we go. I've done 12 calories. And we'll end it there then. Okay, everybody, so that's the end of the video. I hope you've enjoyed watching. Don't forget, click like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome. Also, don't forget to check out my other channel, MinxLaura123 ASMR. The link is down below, as are all the links to my social media, so come and follow me on there. And, uh, yeah, I'll have a throwing wish list if you care to spoil me or treat me, and a Goodreads page if you are a fellow bookworm. As I say, all these links that I'm talking about all down there in the description box. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you are also on the journey that I am of, you know, trying to get healthy, lose weight, good luck. You're going to do it, okay? Keep motivated, keep strong. Um, I'll put the link down below also to my Facebook group. I can't believe, right, since I've started it, we now have over 50 members in literally a few days, which is so awesome. People are being so lovely, so friendly, so kind to each other, you know, giving people advice and tips and just like positive vibes. Like it's really good. So come and join if you want to. It's a private group now as well. All the settings have been changed. So it is private.
drive it 100%. Um, but yeah, no, I think it's, you know, the first week I've been doing it, everything, and I'm, I'm quite proud of myself, actually. I've not been snacking as much. Well, not really at all, actually. I've been, and if I have snacked, it's been on good stuff, like a bit of fruit or something. Do you know what I mean? Nothing bad like I was doing. Um, I've done loads of walking. You know, the pedometer has told me I've done loads of steps most days. Today, I didn't walk as much because I didn't go as far. But I've still done, you know, quite a bit of walking and also done an uh, exercise bike as well. So it kind of made up for the lack of steps today. But tomorrow, you know, it's a new kind of day and I'm just going to get up early. I'm going to go out and do some walking and, um, yeah, just kind of carry on with not eating the rubbish, eating better. I've been having salads every day pretty much and just just cutting down really on the bad stuff. Honestly, I'm, I'm actually really proud of myself. So I did the way in the other day, okay, and I shouldn't have because I was only meant to do it like once a week. But I was kind of tempted and I just, I don't know, I, I kind of looked at the scales and I was like, should I get on them or should I wait till the official day when I said I was going to weigh myself? But I think it's because I done I thought I'd done quite well and I thought, I'll oh, stuff it, I'm just going to get on. And I'd lost three pounds. Three pounds, three days. I'm like, how did that happen? Well, I know how it happened because I've been, I've been really good at exercising and having loads of water as well. Um... <laughs> But yeah, it really give me a boost. It made me happy. And I know that's not going to happen all the time. You know, I might weigh myself again and stay the same or put on. or I know it's going to fluctuate. I, I know that. But I'm just going to keep with it no matter what them scales say. But yeah, I'm uh, I'm happy to report back on that. But obviously in the next vlog, that'll be, um you know, obviously we're doing like a series with this like weight loss and fitness videos. So it'll be a series. I will in the next vlog that you see of this show you my weight. So that'll be... Uh, Monday um, that I'm going to be weighing myself officially kind of thing and that'll be in the vlog so you'll see that at the beginning of the next video so stay tuned for my journey um, but yeah I hope honestly if you're watching this and you know you need someone for support I am here for you I hope you're here for me and, and everyone watching you know because it is important and to know that people are caring and there for you and understand what you're going through and it isn't easy I've had like mixture and mixtures mixture of emotions this week I've been on a high I've been positive I felt really good about myself proud of myself and then I've just felt really sad really depressed really like angry that I just want to eat and I'm like no I can't I can but only good stuff what I'm saying is I've had cravings for eating bad stuff and I just think oh and I feel like I'm de being deprived of something I need and want but really I know it's for the best and there's alternatives you know um Sometimes I just think, I just miss, you know, the days of just being hungry, going to the fridge and having what you want, snacking. But really, in the long run, it's not going to make me happy, is it? And it's not good for my health and confidence and all that. So I, you've got to stick to why you're doing it. If you ever get those moments of, like, weakness, I think you've got to tell yourself why you're doing it. Um, and that's what's kind of keeping me strong and, and you know, keep at it, really, and keep keep trying my best that's all we can do and we're all going to get moments you know like you, me like you you can have days or just the odd occasion where you kind of mess up a bit or you're a bit naughty and that's fine you know if that happens it happens like don't punish yourself just start the next day you know extra good you know do an extra walk that day or do an extra exercise or whatever you know so don't ever feel bad don't beat yourself up about having a bad day or a bad few days or whatever just keep trying Keep trying. See, I'm trying to be motivating. I feel like I'm doing a TED Talk. <laughs> the worst TED Talk in history. Motivated with Minx. Mind you, it is motivated with Minx, yeah. So you have got to motivate you. I have got to motivate you. Do you feel motivated? But no, uh, anyone who's new here, by the way, thank you so, so much. I've gained subscribers since I've done like the whole fitness thing. So, welcome. Um, <laughs> and as I say, anyone who's watching, keep strong, keep positive, and just keep doing what you're doing, because you're doing really well. And I... I'm proud of you. And yes, I have a plaster on my finger because I cut myself um, by accident on the cheese grater, of all things. But anyway, take care. I'll see you in the next video. And you will find out how, well, we will find out together how I do with the next weigh-in. <laughs> um, so yeah, comment down below, get involved and join the Facebook group if you want to. See you later. Bye.